Okay, we are headed to the Freedom Rider National Historic Site. It hasn't been a historic site last time we was out here. It didn't turn a historic site, I think, until after 2016 or maybe 2017. So it's fairly new. We heard about it, so we come in here to check it out. You know what the Freedom Riders are. Back in the day when they was riding on a bus, blacks was riding a bus for freedom. Blacks and white, actually. And the bus got firebombed. So they got a national historic site for this particular thing showing how far this country has come. Now, I'm not about to get political, but you know, there are still a lot of problems in this country when it comes to race. And I'll just leave it like that. And yes, we have experienced them. But we're gonna check this out and see what it's all about and bring it to you. It should be up here on our right if my GPS get me to the right location. Cake's behind me. So we past 10th Street. It should be up here. It might be up here where this motorcycle is. I see a motorcycle up here. And there's 10th Street. Nope, that's not it. It's a little further. Some bad streets here. And I'm pulling patches right now. Okay, I see a placard up here, so I'm assuming this is hit right up here to my left. Or this thing say National Parks. Yes, and there's a gentleman, look like a park ranger outside waiting. Freedom Rider National Monument is open to the public. We okay, we are here in Anniston, Alabama. I'm about to go to the Freedom Right National Monument. It's open to the public. I think it's only been around for maybe three years or more. I think it came out like 1917. I mean, 1917. <laughs> 2017. There's a Freedom Rider where the bus got bombed with the black people on it. Turn the camera this way. What way? We're about to go inside for look. No, no, you know I ain't about to do that. And you know I ain't about to let that place look on the video. <laughs> okay, we just arrived at Anniston. Uh, Freedom Right National Monument. And we're about to go inside and have a good time. There's Patches, Big Easy, and Jet Blue. Time, I think it started like six, 2016 or maybe 2017, I'm not sure. And there's, look like a building across the street that we're gonna be visiting. And there's just the office right here, uh, the Greyhound bus station, uh, protest May, and May 14, 1961. And they finally make it a national monument. Yeah, you can see Cake taking a picture of it right there. And he's talking about how May 14, black and white civil rights activists known as the Freedom Riders were attacked by a mob of whites who were protesting the segregation of public transportation facilities. And it's a Greyhound station. This is why they made it here at the Greyhound station, Greyhound station because it's one of the things they was protesting. And we know this country come a lot of, a long, long way when it comes to race. And still have a long way to go. I'll leave it like that, I'm not gonna get racial or political on it, but it is what it is. So you're talking about 50 years later, they finally made it a monument. And since we're doing our national park tour, it includes monuments, memorial, recreational area, and all these things that's involved. They got a look like eternal flame right here. And it says, lighting the way, honoring the freedom riders, the men and women who rode into history on May 14, 1961, and the city of Anniston for embracing the past to look to the future. Dedicated August 22nd, 2013. Do we go find out a little bit more history about it and find out when it became a national monument? And you're gonna love this, check this out. I can't go behind this rope, but hope we catch it all. That's the Greyhound bus. I just have to read right here. It says, such a comfort to take the bus and leave the driving to us, Greyhound. <laughs> and it's actually the size of a real bus. Look how tall the wheel is. Yeah, they've done a pretty good job on it. So we're gonna read some stuff out here, and then we're gonna go on the inside and bring you that, in, so you can see that on the inside. Uh, a lot of people probably don't know about this. But like I said, it became new. Once we find out when it became a national monument, then we'll put the data on it. And three police officers came on board 
They tried to give her a citation. She balled it up, threw it out the window, and then they tried to grab her. So she boarding that Greyhound bus to travel through the heart of the Deep South, I felt good. I felt happy. I felt liberated. I was like a soldier in a non-violent army. I was ready. I am sitting in the black area of the Freedom Rider at the Greyhound bus station. I'm about to watch the film, the Freedom Riders. But this is what it looked like. I asked God to be with me, to give me the strength I would need to remain nonviolent and to forgive them. Take healing, take being. Worthwhile, significant mission. Corps prepares the writers for the racial hatred they can expect. Do you hear what that man said? Do you hear what that man said? You, you get back there. Get back. Get back, get back, get back. Hey. It's a national monument, and since we've been here, we found out it was open in 2017, and it's here, waiting for you to come visit. Very, very powerful, powerful story. You gotta see it. Now, one thing you gotta remember is they are just getting started. So they refurbishing, remodeling everything. Even some of the buildings around here, they're remodeling to the way it was back in the day when the Freedom Riders started. They understood that the only way it could be done in America is through peaceful methods. And the Freedom Rides illustrated that. The people who got beaten did not strike back. The people who got beaten did not have weapons with them. It was just a stroke of genius.